todos. Norma Roman tries to keep herself and her children busy these days. The mother of 12 helps with her homework to take their minds off a grim reality, the possible separation from their mother. Dios quiera lo que suceda y esperamos en la mano de Dios lo que él, lo que él quiera. All of Norma's children were born here in the U.S. Norma says that she's placing her faith in God and in her attorney. She currently has an order of removal by Immigration and Customs Enforcement after multiple run-ins with the law. In 2011, Norma overstayed her visa and left the country only to be smuggled back days later. Then in September, Norma was arrested for taking an extra $5,000 in food stamps. Norma claims she didn't know she wasn't supposed to receive them. She says she spent 36 days in jail and paid back the money. But with limited resources to fight deportation, the 39-year-old turned to the Mexican consulate for help. From the resources that, uh, that we have for them. Consul Guillermo Ordorica says all 50 Mexican consulates in the U.S. were instructed by the Mexican government to provide legal aid and create what are known as centers for defense. It's all in response to the increasing number of immigration raids by the Trump administration. Because of narratives that have been running around in all around the country, our people have had some expressed some fears about their condition in the country. Norma says the council helped pay for legal services and petitioned the U.S. government for a stay of deportation. Ay, mira, es que me van a decir que me van a deportar. Having her kids taken by the government is something Norma doesn't want for her children. You guys don't want her to go, right? No matter what happens, Norma says she will return to the U.S. any way possible. After the interview, Norma called us to let us know that her petition to stay had been denied. Now she's just waiting to find out when exactly she needs to turn herself in for deportation. Now we asked ICE if Norma falls under Trump's priorities for removal, and they replied saying that they're looking into the case. On the Texas-Mexico border, Oscar Margain reporting.